And it's not just in these areas where Obama has deceived us. I mean, there's been so many ones from the NDAA, uh, drone strikes, assassinations, and that sort of thing. It's even in the immigration bill that was passed. Well, it's not a bill. It didn't pass. It was something that was a, um, as they put it, it was a presidential memorandum of June 15th, 2012. It's the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. And the way this is manifesting itself, it was, he told everyone at the time that uh, this was not a path to amnesty. This was not legalization for illegal immigrants. Uh, what he said was this was just a uh, presidential memorandum. And that memorandum is being enforced now by, you guessed it, Homeland Security, our favorite illegal organization. And the way it's manifesting itself in North Carolina, we see this Fox uh, News report from there, North Carolina immigrant driver's licenses are being revealed. And if you look at the wording on here, it says, it will say on there that there is a legal presence, but no lawful status. It's kind of hard to see on that because it was a very low resolution picture, but it's in red right under the driver's license. It says, legal presence, no lawful status. That's kind of double talk, isn't it? I mean, the uh, immigrants were concerned about the fact that it said no lawful status, but of course it now says legal presence. So which is it? Uh, the point is, is that if you don't have control over your legal citizens, you have a real problem maintaining what your country is about. Later on in the uh, newscast, we have an interview with someone from Switzerland. He's essentially, he's with an organization that's essentially the Swiss NRA. Now, Switzerland is one of the most tolerant and multicultural countries that you'll find. They have three different cultures and three different language areas within Switzerland. They have a fourth language, which is the language of government. Uh, they have different cultures, different people, different tongues, all getting along with each other. But you do not become a Swiss citizen without a long residence there and without a lot of references to make sure that you share their common vision of what the country is about. And if we just open up our borders to anyone and let them come across and give them driver's licenses, that is a surefire way to lose what little bit of the vision that we have of our country that is left. And if you see the way this is enacted, this is, again, something that was not a law. This is something that Obama just declared in a memorandum. And you see that it is now being turned into essentially an amnesty law by the Department of Homeland Security through local law enforcement in the states. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.